Hi everyone and welcome to the channel and another episode of my British Columbia adventure. We have left Nakasp heading for a ferry from Fakir towards Kettle River off-road section. Unfortunately, due to late departure, we decided to do a short riding day and we have changed the plans and ended up at Echo Lake Campground. It's not always about go, go, go. Next morning, we woke up and started to fight the dusty trail along the Kettle River. We have stopped on the other side, just past Kettle River Recreational Site for a bite to eat, topped up the motorcycles with petrol, and then we headed towards Arlington Lakes. On the way to the Arlington Lakes, we got caught in rain. First rain on this trip, so it was nice to cool off after this crazy heat that we have been dealing with every day. We managed to get one of the last campsite at this location and once we have pulled in, there was waiting for us on top of the pine tree big bald eagle that I just managed in time to take a few photographs. As always, if you like the content, don't forget to hit the like button, comment down below, subscribe and share, and see you in the next episode. Ram was yesterday. <laughs> Castle Guard, then you continue to mid, midpoint to midway. And then you, there is actually a dirt road that goes uh, all the way north. But now we are going for another coffee just to catch up, because uh, we don't know where, where is the next stop for coffee, so we, we will have to get some fuel or gas. It is quite stunning out here, uh, it's right on a lake. As you see, it's uh, gorgeous. And it was pretty warm at night too. Uh, I think it went, it didn't go below like uh, plus 14 Celsius. There we go, just pulling into town of Nakasp. So we are just uh, be arrived before the ferry launch in Fakir and uh, the ferry is on the other side right there still. So we're just gonna 
scope out this area here quickly and head on to the ferry. Bogdan, as always, is tossing rocks. He never fails. Always determined to toss some rocks in the water. Heading towards Kettle River. It's extremely hot. Oh, it's nice cooling from the water here, though. From the shore. From the shore. This is not like you. Hey, we're here. Okay. We're here. <laughs> Fuck here. Fuck here. Ja, jest cable. A dlaczego było słychać taki warkot z niego? Thank you. little creek making change of plans right now and we will do the Kettle River tomorrow uh, because it's getting quite late and uh, we were doing here those twisties and uh, we're going up again uh, it's a pretty nice road here so we blew some time coming from the cusp to towards Kettle River and uh, we made an executive decision that uh, we will go to Echo Lake uh, camping because it's already like uh, 4 o'clock and to get across Kennel River uh, we're looking for about an 8 hour ride at least uh, on the dirt there so today we're gonna take it easy because we came from the campsite quite late uh, but at the same time uh, we're gonna chill it's uh, super hot it's 35 degrees at this moment uh, Celsius uh, we will charge up some stuff, uh, some electronics uh, on that campsite there because uh, they have electric uh, hookups, so uh, drone and everything else uh, has to be charged. And uh, we will have some good times in the lake, go for a dip and enjoy. It's not always about go, go, go. You gotta relax as well. So we just turned off on uh, on the road that's taking us to Echo Lake. Wow, those are tight corners.
go and they're not afraid at all. Look at them. Gee. So cute. You can choose what you, you want to be. Bon, Je kiffe ma. So day seven of our adventure, we're just leaving Echo Lake campground, and uh, we are heading towards Kettle River, Kettle River Recreational Site, and most likely we'll get across and uh, maybe closer to the Osoyoos and Pentington area. Another very warm day, just had a good breakfast, a couple cups of coffee and an ice cream, nice dip in the lake, and back on the road again. Okay, we got the river below. I uh, there was a, like a pullout, uh, I remember, right? On the right hand side, uh, close to the river. Oh, it's like a, like a new one or something. Who is this, Robert or Bogdan? Bogdan is coming, look at that! Yeah, they don't look yellow anymore. Pop two. Berto. Leave me in the dust like that, damn it.
getting nothing but dust. So there's a borderline between uh, adventure riding and the dust riding. Yep, it is pavement. Okay. Hallelujah. So, yeah, we did it. We did it again. And there's a road going up. getting close to the end of another day day seven today and uh, we decided that we will stay at Arlington Ray Lake just uh, nearby last time we stayed here at Carroll River just uh, to the right and uh, today we are coming up uh, to, to, we were coming out on the same road and uh, ended up back in the Carroll River for a uh, little uh, lunch and uh, picked up some gas uh, nearby and also now uh, we are just uh, minutes away from uh, another campsite or recreational site then. It does look like we're gonna have some thunderstorm, most likely, or at least the rain, because it looks pretty cloudy up here. We still had an awesome day of riding today, even though it was dusty and disgusting. And uh, if you are ever going to attempt to do the uh, Kennel River uh, off-road section, I recommend coming from the south to north, not the opposite way, because uh, the views are better going the other way. Uh, th that's the opposite way that we came down today uh, towards uh, the south.
Let's keep going. Now what are you gonna do? Oh, he's got one side? Oh, I thought you, you said no sides. Entrance. Day seven, we have arrived to Arlington Lakes. Uh, that's a recreational site. And we're gonna spend the night in here. Dirty as hell, but what can you do? No showers, but we're still having good times. There was an eagle just a while ago in there. Had a bite to eat, and now we're having a chat and a rum. The usual routine. <laughs> 